Hi again, welcome back. It is currently Tuesday morning, half ten in the morning. Me and Ben. It's okay. Hello. We're currently on a little road trip. We're going to Cornwall yes. for us. We're going to Cornwall on a little staycation. They will have seen by the title. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we're going to Cornwall for the next like four days. For the third night we're stopping over somewhere like on the way back, but it's like a nice little hut sort of vibe, like next to a river. Really nice vibe, you'll see. But for now we're going to Cornwall. We have got so 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 much planned. It's actually ridiculous. We're Today gonna, we're gonna be flying through the sky. Yeah, literally we but the UK's fastest zip line. And then um, we're going swimming today at this like Jubilee pool thing. We're going to St. Ives tomorrow. We've got so much planned. I don't even wanna, we'll talk about it as it comes, but just know that it's gonna be a very fun little trip. Right now, as I said, it's 10.30. I've been driving since like 6.45, seven-ish for like three hours and now we've swapped and Ben is driving. There's this really good app I'll put you guys on called Vago or this website called Vago where you can pay for someone to be insured on your car for like a couple hours like you can literally do it as as short as one hour which is really good um so highly recommend it was literally like 10 pounds for ben to be insured from 9 a.m to 1 p.m which is really good but yeah that's the plan for right now we're just gonna keep driving for the next well ben's gonna keep driving for the next just under three hours this is his first time driving on the motorway you know like i don't second. know how second time the first time was an accident <laughs> i don't know how he's gone this many years driving without oh, having three been and years. three and a half uh, years driving four years. four years driving without going on the motorway but here we are and it's so fine it's all right. yeah exactly i will let you guys know when we arrive well they're probably going to arrive at like 1 30 and we've got a booking at the pool from one to five so yeah we're gonna just walk around a bit take a look at the town maybe find somewhere to eat tomorrow and then drop our stuff off when check-in starts at 3 p.m and then go to the pool after that and then just chill there till five so it should be fun Okay guys, it is currently 1.20. We have arrived. We're staying in Penzance in Cornwall. Really looking forward to it. Oh, I'm so annoyed I missed that. So fine, we'll find another spot. Ben's a bit frustrated about the parking situation. <laughs> we'll just keep driving. Go to the next road maybe. All right, so it's 1.20, we've just arrived. Hey, Hi. Hey. Oh, I didn't mean <laughs> <gasps> You're so annoying. <laughs> As I was saying, it's 1.20, we've just arrived. We're gonna park the car and then explore the town a bit before we check in. So we've got like an hour and a bit, probably get some snacks or, you know, just lunch food. Um, but yeah, the views are so nice so far. I'm really looking forward to exploring more, but yeah. Is this a parking spot? No. Okay. <laughs> it's 1.45, we just managed to find a parking spot. Ben was literally just driving around the same road yeah. over and Persever over and over. Perseverance. Is that what you say? Yeah. Perseverance. So he was just driving around the same road over and over again. <laughs> three um, times. Three Third time lucky. No, it was more than three no, times. No, it was three times. It was like One. six times. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It One. was at least six times. And then it went times. back that way. It was it at least way. six times. No. No. It was six times, it wasn't. Um, but it was the room cool. is ready. So do we just go to the pool now then? I think we walk around, get food, and then go pool. We're gonna go swimming, so excited. It's a bit chilly. Yeah, I'll pull that. It's not the hottest of weathers. We'll catch up in a bit. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. We're in our room. So cute what they've done with this place. If you're wondering, it's called Easy Peasy. <laughs> 
it kind of gives me hostel vibes but like bougie hostel there's only three rooms so it's literally a house and then you've got um a kitchen lounge and then they've done it as if they like provide breakfast and you can just like do it yourself like they've got all the cereal there they make croissants and then the lounge they've got loads of games and stuff like that i like how it's not tons of people so there's only going to be four other people so you come in here on the wall you've got this nice little <laughs> big wave design some nice wall art this is the bed really nice really simple lamp little chest of drawers i've made ben a cake for his birthday so we brought it so we can have that later as well over here just where i was sitting before is this nice like seating area another chest of drawers over there got a little mirror hi nice little tv through here's the bathroom really simple really like the the blue and then a nice little shower how can you go wrong Plan. It's, it, it's soft, but it's like, it's kind of hard as well. <laughs> I thought you wanted to say hi. Oh, hello. You didn't say hi properly this yeah, whole time. I didn't time. say hi properly. And I have bed head, by the way. So is that why you put on a hat? Mm hmm Okay. Because my hair is really bad. I feel like all you talk about is yes. your hair. <sighs> yeah, so basically, I'm really looking forward to, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let me get ready. Out. I used to love watching yeah, this. So, uh, I could easily defeat those big red balls. Exactly. <laughs> it's just not a hard task. <laughs> yeah, these lot it's a struggle. Yeah. It's not a hard task at all. <laughs> you gotta judge it. You just gotta judge it. They were just trying to do it too, too quick. quickly. I really agree. Um, guys, we went to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Ghastly. Wait, Awful. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm still wearing my trunks. Yeah. So what does that mean? Yeah. So we didn't go in. <laughs> we didn't go into the pool. Why? It was so unbelievably cold. And not cold to the point where it's like, oh, it's just a pool, like, you know, just go in, it's calm. It's like it was... ice bucket challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally. I saw a girl walk past me, she had blue lips. Her skin was so pale. I was like, there's no way on earth I'm going in this pool. Ben was like, I don't want to go in. So, so we left. We were there for what, five, five minutes? Five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, the website is such a catfish. Yep. The it website. Was, it looked, we got there and I was like, is this it? Yeah. Like the website makes it look so much nicer than it is. So Jubilee Pool, you're getting a solid, what what, what would you rate it? 0 0.6 out of 10. 0 0.6. I the, said. The, re the reason I give it 0 0.6. Yeah. I don't actually why I've given it a 0 0.6. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it deserves that. I would say a zero. I would, I'd give it like... No, the geothermal pool gives yeah, it 0 0.6. Exactly. I'd give it a 1 simply because there is a warm pool there. We didn't experience it personally because, because it's fully, it's fully booked, booked. Till August. Till August. End, of August. End of August. So yeah, we didn't go in the warm one, but the main one didn't look anything like it did on the website. It just didn't give me clean vibes. The, the water, water was, was green. literally green, murky. River Thames. Yeah. yeah, literally. The Thames. <laughs> so, We've been chatting about this pool for like five minutes. Yeah, a long time. But um, yeah, wouldn't recommend. And then we were so hungry, trying to find just a cute calf to like oh, chill in. And everywhere closes at like 3.30. <laughs> everywhere stopped serving food at 3.30, but luckily we found one place that was still 
doing food, we got one main and just like split it because we've got dinner in literally like two hours so we didn't want to be full. I didn't film anything because at that point we were just so deep in conversation. We got, what was it, like a chicken and chorizo, chia batter with some fries and red onion. Um, really good. Yeah, what would nice. you rate that place? Well, I rate the food a good eight. I rate the food like a 6.5 yeah, just because I, like I don't it. like unnecessary sauces and there was sauce in it. But I liked it until they were literally like kept looking at us, looking at the table and just, oh, it's so dry. Yeah. I didn't see it, but Ben was saying that they were being really like visibly yeah. rude and like giving us really and weird they're, looks. They're on the way out, they were literally staring at us. Maybe it's because I'm black, you're white. Maybe. But like, I don't know. I haven't seen many black people around here to be fair. Yeah. I haven't seen any. We've got a reservation at 6.15 and it's 5.40. <laughs> and we need to leave at like 5, at uh, 6.05. I need to wash my hair. Yeah, so I'm going to shower now and then we'll catch up in a bit. I don't know what I'm going to wear to dinner, but something warm. Because it's quite chilly, especially at night time. So yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> frenzy such a hurry had like 20 minutes to get ready to shower and stuff but we're here at st michael's mount taking a little walk across the beach and it's like this island with a castle botanical gardens really really cool stuff it looks so beautiful but yeah i'll talk more later once i've you know experienced it and stuff <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay. It's currently, what's the time? Uh, it's cowboy time. It's 10 to 10. 10 to 10 to 10 to 10. We just finished at St. Michael's Mount. We're about to walk around this cute little town, Morrison, Marison? Marison. Marison. We want to get some breakfast because we haven't eaten anything yet. Because we saw a place, but they don't serve food. Yeah. It was like a cafe, but they didn't serve any food, which was very confusing. I forgot to say, yesterday we went to dinner at this place. How did you find the dinner? It was all right. I didn't like my starter, but that's my fault yeah. for getting the wrong starter. I so I made Ben like eat half of my starter. Yeah. And the steak, we had steak, both of us. Yeah. I thought the steak was really good. Yeah. Chips were good. Chips weren't as good, but I overall I'd rate it a good like five out of ten. Five, yeah. Solid five. Go and I felt the atmosphere in there was a bit odd as well. I kept yeah. getting weird stares. We're gonna go get food now and then we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> in one minute we are going to St. Ives, we're getting the train from Penzance because we're going paddle boarding which should be fun and then we'll probably just chill on the beach for a bit as well. Our paddle boarding session is at three, we're probably going to get to St. Ives around two so yeah we've got some time and then we're heading back here around five so we can have dinner and stuff but swimsuit is boohoo but yeah we're going to leave in a sec so we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Missing
very, very, very rainy, very windy today. It's currently 9.54. We've been driving, well, Ben's been driving for like 45 minutes now. We're on our way to the Eden Project. But first, we are going to this thing called Hang Loose Adventure something where we're going to do zip lining, which is um, an interesting activity to have to do in these weather conditions. I called the people and was like, hey, are we still doing this because the weather looks a bit crazy? And he was like, yeah, it's still on. I was like, okay, that's so fine. As if I wasn't scared enough already. Yeah, like we literally got soaked bringing our bags to the car, let alone oh, flying I'm through scared. the air. And it's the fastest zip line in England. I think I said UK before, but it's the fastest zip line in England. So that's what we're doing now. Our bookings for 10.15, we'll probably arrive like five minutes early. Um, which is good and then we'll go to Eden Project after that it's like big like biospheres of like loads of plants and stuff like that zip lining you know very skeptical about that <laughs> but um, yesterday we got back I didn't film much after we did our paddle boarding but paddle boarding was such a vibe oh, so good. Was literally just chilling in the ocean for like an hour so yeah we did that and then walked back to like the main St. Ives area if I were to recommend somewhere for people to go in Cornwall, I'd definitely say St. Ives over Penzance. But St. Ives is where it's at for sure. We ate food at this place called Firehouse Bar and Grill. Highly recommend. I'd literally rate it like a 10 out of 10 because the food was absolutely amazing. So much better than the place we went the day before in Penzance. So yeah, really, really good. And then we got the train back. The views were so beautiful. Got back to the room and just chilled. We got back at like 9 p.m. because we ate dinner in St. Ives. So yeah, woke up today at like 7.45, 7.50, got ready, checked out of this place because after the Eden Project, we're going to this place called Bradford on Tone. Honestly, I don't know where it is either, but it's just like on the way back. So people suggest like stopping over on the way back to Food Cornwall because obviously it's a really long drive. But yeah, I'll give the details and stuff about that afterwards, like when we get there. It looks really nice. It's like a barn, it's next to a river, but I think the vibe for today is like a nice chill, night in so we'll like get some food and stuff like that because we won't really have time to enjoy this airbnb and it is a really nice airbnb i really like the barn kind of vibe which you probably have picked up from all the staycations that i've booked like the one i did with my mom and stuff so yeah but right now we're like 10 minutes away from this place so we'll catch up in a bit yeah around with it and then y'all call me whack but no i'm a truck and they say they're a fan of it i'll be saucy can't handle it you a hater start talking to me i don't know why they plotting on me niggas know it's my time cause these watches on me city just all the rock on me hey yeah uh, it's y'all ain't playing no games i just want to get rich i don't do it for fame with my brothers i don't hang with no lames everybody talk i pull up a game i'm the same nigga i'm never gonna change i just had to fix some of my ways my team is grinding we shine you can't don't come like anything but a bang Good morning. It is currently 
Good morning. It is currently 9.40 um, in the morning. We have to check out this place at 11 a.m. But really, really comfortable stay. This morning it's shining so much. It's only 9.40 and it's like really, really good weather. So, huh? Huh? Had what? The weather's really good this morning, so we're gonna just have breakfast. Because we'll leave at 11, we'll probably stop somewhere for services and get like something for lunch there. But yeah, that's basically the vibe. We got ZZ's for dinner yesterday. I got some spaghetti bolognese, Ben got a pizza, and then we just chilled, watched a movie, 50 First Dates with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I remember watching it years and years and years ago, because I remember it having like a similar sort of storyline to that Channing Tatum one. But yeah, we both kind of just fell asleep watching that because, I don't know, maybe it was just all the tiredness catching up with us from waking up at like 7 a.m. every day um, and sleeping quite late every day, but yeah. Right now, as I said, I'm just gonna make breakfast. We're gonna chill and um, pack up all our stuff and then get on the road I'm driving today. Ben drove all of yesterday. It's just over three hours So I'm driving all of today, which will be another three hours back to London. We'll catch up in a bit <laughs> back in London. I forgot to end the vlog as soon as we got back, obviously. It's the next day. Um, I've just had like a really busy day doing some work, catching up on everything that I haven't been able to do over the last few days. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It was such a fun trip. I feel like we lived so many days within those few days, but thoroughly enjoyed it, honestly. I feel like it was really good vibes. Even though some things we didn't enjoy as much, we still found a way to like have fun and, you know, just have a good time. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. I don't want to talk for too long because I feel like I've done a lot of that in this video, maybe. I don't know. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. All my social media links will be in the description below, so feel free to follow me. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you next time. So bye. Yeah.